part of the soil health test is that labile or, or active carbon. Uh, so that's measured in a soil health test as well. And that comes back as milligrams per kilo. With samples that come through the lab, we're actually seeing a significant difference in terms of labile carbon levels in soils over the east coast. And what we're also seeing is different levels of active carbon uh, based on industry as well. So not surprisingly, uh, where we've got high organic carbon levels in soils, most of the time we're seeing higher active carbon as well. So having that high level of active carbon, that is a, a quickly mineralizable pool of nutrient. So mineralizable P, S and nitrogen come out of that system for the growing season. All right, we've got an active carbon level. What do, do, we, what do we do to actually improve it? Well, we obviously improve it by increasing our level of biomass in the system. And increasing our level of biomass in the system doesn't necessarily mean it's, it's wheat stubble. It can be stubble from a, a pulse crop. It be, can be a, a pasture rotation. So you're actually building your active carbon uh, with, a, with carbon that's, that's, that's readily um, readily mineralised, so coming into the growing cycle. So think about where you are in the rotation, what your active carbon levels are now, and what's your management strategy to actually move them. Do you need to move to a pasture phase in a mixed farming system? Do you need to include a legume? The strategies are there to improve those active carbon levels.